I'm Val Turk. I'm Greg Turk. And we are fundraising this year um, in honor of our son, Max Turk, um, who had stage one CTE. In the race to end CTE, we've created um, our own version, which is Max's March. We will be hiking in Max's honor, in the same trails that Max hiked on in the days leading to his death. This year, you know, let's really raise awareness. Come out, have fun with us, hike with us. But man, listen to the story and just go preach it. He started playing in fourth grade. In Pop Warner playing both directions, in high school playing both directions. That's a lot of hits to rack up. In high school he started really to excel as a football player. Many, many people admired Max for his talents on the football field and for his leadership. But for me, those last years of his life are the years that I most admired him. His struggles began actually right when he was drafted for the NFL. We started to notice that he had extreme paranoia. He began by being quite withdrawn um, at a time when we felt he should have been really happy. It was really, really hard to watch a proud individual who had goals and dreams and to watch that just disappear. And he was such a strong and stoic person. So he refused to really acknowledge what was going on and he just kept the old USC fight on. He just kept fighting on. It's devastating, devastating for everybody. I mean, he was, he was the big brother. He was the leader. Um, and his football brought a lot of, brought us all together. It brought a lot of joy to our family. And then to see this big change, sort of, it, it was like a bomb going off. Max's last three months of his life, he spent every day on these trails, so we're really, you feel like you're walking with him, and I think everybody out there has that same sense of, you know, kind of they're with their brother again. So it's, um, it's emotional, it's spiritual, it's just a very incredible day. And he's given us some signs. We feel that we get signs from him, um, and I think he would absolutely support us doing this. I think he would want us to get the word out, and if we save one kid from going through what he went through, then, I think that he would love that. If you can't join us in Southern California, then we expect you to be hiking, go for a good two mile walk or a good two mile hike in your neighborhood. And at the end of it, hopefully you can um, have a positive memory for, uh, for old number 75.